Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about how to play Barrier Battle, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I know it's taking a long time for me to talk about this one, but this isn't really considered to be one of the competitive game modes, and, and they don't even feature it in the Ninja World League, like the ranked game mode. But I figured since it is one of the game modes, and I've talked about all the big things, like all the major game modes and all the major classes, this was like the last thing for me to talk about when it comes to like a guide. So first, let's talk about what barrier battle is. So, so this is a boss-based team battle split between attackers and defenders. The attacking side must defeat the boss within the time limit to win. The defending side must protect the boss to win. So for the attacking side, it says remove two stakes and the boss's barrier will disappear. Try to defeat the boss within the time limit. If you're knocked out, you'll lose time. And that's something that's kind of new. And then for the defending side, boss's barrier will disappear if two stakes are removed. Defend the seal stakes and protect the boss. Defeat an enemy to reduce the time remaining. Okay, so uh, this is the game mode that pretty much the entire Shinobi Striker community dislikes the most. Uh, it's like, it's like I said, it's not considered one of the competitive game modes because it's so unbalanced and it's been unbalanced since the game came out. So like before, I think when it first came out, it was it was unbalanced toward the defending side because the boss was so strong and had so much HP. Then they nerfed the boss and and, and like the attackers had the advantage and they they changed it again and it just has gone back and forth. And right now, currently, the attacking side has a clear advantage because the boss doesn't have that much HP. So if two equal teams go into a match, the attack the attacking side has a, an over overwhelming advantage uh, in this game mode so that's one of the things that makes it that's what makes it not considered to be like a real game mode for the community and why they don't put it in Ninja World League. It's a shame too because this is the most unique game mode in the whole game like every there's every game has a combat like deathmatch game mode there's lots of games with flag battles and lots of games with like uh, capture the point or like to hold the point type of things like base battle and then like Royal Rumble kind of stuff like survival exercise but like there's nothing there aren't that many there aren't any games that have something like this and it's so specifically Naruto because it's about like defending the boss of like Kamakichi like some ca character in Naruto so it's a shame that it's not balanced hopefully they can figure out how to balance it one day like to me if they just put two bosses and like the, each team had one stake and whoever beat the other team's boss faster was the winner I think that would balance it but I don't know if the game can handle that uh, but anyway let's just talk about like how to do this uh, how to play uh, barrier battle if you're playing in quick match because that quick match is the only time you'll see this game mode so if you're on the attacking side like I said you have a clear advantage so somebody on your team should be running something like uh, water pillar or sand shield to make it much easier for you to remove the stakes and the biggest thing when you are attacking this is the best advice I could give for barrier battle overall but the biggest thing is when you're on the attacking side don't worry about your KD like if you if you're worried about how many times you're getting killed or like how many like your, your kill to death ratio you're gonna lose because most of the time in my barrier battles on attack mode I, I can go like 0 and 5 and I'll be like the only person on my team with an S and carry the whole team to the victory because you need to focus on the objective like don't worry about killing other people just get those stakes and worry about killing the boss like that's your only objective it does not matter if you're killing anybody else and with that said uh, on the attacking side you definitely need to have a healer on your team because all the other team is going to be doing is trying to kill you guys so having a healer is crucial if you're on the attacking side the defending side doesn't really need a healer as much but it's still helpful if they have one but on attack the healer is crucial uh, just like as you're going into a combat match because your opponents are going to be treating it like a combat match basically but for you on the attacking side you just focus on the objectives so worry about those stakes how can you pull them up what can you use to to make sure the stakes are clear like water pillar sand shield stuff like that and just focus on the boss so like the range type should have some kind of like powerful range jutsu so that they could uh, hit the boss from a distance like if you have it definitely run majestic destroyer flame or at least like fireball jutsu or something like that so you can attack the boss and stay safe at the same time defense type should be having stuff like cc to control the area around the stake so that your teammates can pull up the stakes like sand shield so like if you're in sand shield you can't pull the stake up yourself but your teammates can get inside the sand shield and pull up the stake and then with water pillar that's probably the most crucial and cheap <laughs> uh, jutsu in this game mode because water pillar the, you can put it up and you can pull up the stake and all your teammates can get in there and pull up the stake too so that's the most crucial thing on attacking that makes it so much easier and that's probably 
that's probably one of the main reasons that the attack side has such a clear advantage because it's a lot easier to pull up the stakes than it is to defend them. And ultimates are important, but make sure you save your alts, or make sure you try to save your alts for the boss because they, they can do all kinds of damage to the to Gamakichi. You can use some to clear the point, especially if you're a healer and you're running something like Solid Fog, you can use that fog to get people away from the stake while you're trying to while you're trying to pull it up. Uh, some alts work better to clear the stake and others work better to use on the boss. If you have like damaging alts, save those for the boss. So on the defending side, it's a com it's completely different and that's another reason that this game mode isn't balanced because it's, it's like a, you're playing two different games if you're attacking or defending so if you're defending you basically just want to run builds like you're in combat mode because all you're going to be thinking about is killing the other team uh, make sure you come in there with some kind of sand shield and water pillar breakers because the other team will probably have something like that to try to pull up the stakes and something new that they added when you get kills it takes away five points off of the time because when you're defending the only way you can win is for the time to run out so uh, so now when you kill when you kill your opponents it takes five seconds off of the time to make the to make the match go faster you just focus on getting as many kills as you can so come in there with builds that are going to be like high damage high high dps to to fight the opponents uh, you can even run something like uh, water pillar also to put on the stake so that the other team can't get it uh, just like to to stall them uh, that you don't see it as often on the defending side but it can also be useful the summons can all be good on here and when you're defending there's more strategy to it so you can like decide how you're going to approach like uh, how you defend these two states because there's two so you could maybe like split it up like two people go to one state two people go to the other state or maybe you leave one to one and and group up more people on the on the uh, another state and just uh, have one person over on the other one just to harass the people to make it take a little bit longer but so like i i suggest something more like that because you should you should focus on defending the one where it's it's like a bigger area because on almost every game mode the stakes are at like one of them is in a spot where it's kind of like in an in a sort of awkward area where there's not that much space to fight and the attacking side has a clear advantage there because if they knock you down and you have to like climb up the wall or climb up a pillar or something and that gives the attacking side time to pull up the stake while you're trying to run up the wall or whatever so uh when you're defending you want to defend like heavily defend the one that's more on like the flatter more even ground so like sometimes people will just completely leave one stake alone and just have all four people on on a single stake to make it so that it's really hard to pull up that one stake because sometimes if there's only two and two they might just end up pulling both of them up really fast because if they knock a couple people away or kill or get some kills then, then they just pull both of them up so make sure you focus on at least one of the stakes really heavily uh, defending one of the stakes really heavily also when you're defending if you are close to the stake and the other team is trying to pull the stake up it will take them longer to pull the stake up because you're in the area and the more people on your team are there the longer it will take them to pull it up so like even if they're just doing something like they're inside sand shield or something and you can't break it you can at least stand right by the stake or stand on top of the stake and make it so that it takes them longer to pull it up and when the stakes are up you just you're just focused on getting kills you can't there's not really any jutsu that you can use to defend the boss none of the stuff is big enough to like wrap around the boss or anything like that that would be a cool addition if they had like in this game mode like the sand shield got big enough to go across the over the whole boss or the water pillar or the mud wall was bigger or something but it's, there's nothing like that so you just have to kill your opponents as fast as you can so that they can't do that much damage to the boss that's pretty much all you can do and you can also like do stuff like uh eat their jutsu like like get in their face while they're shooting off a majestic destroyer flame so it hits you and it doesn't even get to the boss uh stuff like that but yeah mostly just try to get get those kills that's all you're really focused on when you're defending there's two parts to this so once you pull up the stakes and take off half of the boss's life then it goes to part two and the boss will go to a different location and the stakes will also move sometimes one of the stakes stays the same and then the other stake will, will move farther away and on the second half the second stake always goes closer to the defending sides spawn so when like when I say don't worry about your KD if you're on the attacking side you, that that doesn't mean that you want to that it's that is not a big deal getting killed because getting killed doesn't not only does it take away your time but on the second half it's so crucial getting killed because you have to walk or you have to run all the way to the other teams respawn and like on big long maps like the hidden leaf village like it takes forever to get back over to the next stake so 
on the second half try not to get killed as much as you can if you're on the attacking side and so like this gives the defending side kind of like some breathing room so when you get kills here just know that it, they're gonna take a while to get back over there and also if the time runs out while the stakes are up and the barrier is gone then it will go into overtime until the barrier gets put back on the boss so just keep that in mind it's yet another thing that gives the attack inside the advantage yeah that's pretty much it for this guide uh, like I said this is this game mode isn't really considered competitive so just have fun with it a lot of times when people are scrimming they just treat barrier battle like it's a combat match and they just fight in there and <laughs> just count up their kills when they or count up their KOs after the match is over but uh yeah just have fun with this one because nobody really takes it all that seriously even if you lose in there it's not a big deal so yeah just have fun so yeah that pretty much completes like my main guides i've got a class guide for each of the classes and now a guide for each of the different game modes so i might be taking a little break on here to uh work harder on my novel so i have more time to work on that uh, but I'll definitely be back when it comes to like uh, big news, like big next DLC and stuff like that. In the meantime, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to Shinobi Strike that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is. Everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love.